lovelies, welcome yet again to another video. I probably sound a bit sick, which I am. Thank you for asking. So I watch videos by Daz Watches and he likes to react a lot to these videos by extreme cheapskates. And um, I love it, I love it really. So I tried to find a video that I haven't yet watched through Daz or any other YouTubers that react to these sort of videos and this should be one of them. Glad to see that the neighborhood is safe. So the video that I found is called Women's Saving Obsession is Affecting Her Love Life. Joseph and I have been together romantically for three years. And he just recently left. Oh. I love Monique, and one of the main things that keeps me away is her obsession with cheap and free things. And I really want okay. to get him back. Los Angeles substitute teacher Monique Lukens earns close to $2,400 monthly. But her decision to live on only $600 of that has taken its toll on her love life. We were going to get married, but as of now, like, I wouldn't because she needs to have more balanced priorities. Wait, why does he kind of look like the guy from You? He kind of looks like Joe Goldberg in this picture. <laughs> um, cheap OCD. Okay. This is LA and nice. everyone drives, but Monique has hardly driven because it's too expensive. Okay, what's wrong with that? Petrol is expensive. You guys might call it gas. I don't know where you're from. She's saving the environment. She's keeping fit at the same time because she's pedaling. Let's go. You're just jealous. You are just jealous. Other things Monique would do to save a buck are live in an apartment without a real bed at the moment. I need to blow air in my bed. <laughs> I don't okay, maybe now I... You know what? She's pedaling a lot. She cycles a lot around the neighborhood. She has healthy lungs, so she can afford to blow her bed every night. I think the ex-fiance was just jealous. She was blowing the bed more than she was blowing. So I keep all my belongings in boxes so that at a moment's notice, I can just up and go. All her stuff gets piled up in boxes and it gets pretty ridiculous. I check out his- Oh, wait, I thought this was like a shelf. I thought it was a shelf. Bitch is keeping her things in a box. Chemistry. Why do you have a chemistry book? Oh wait, you're a teacher, never mind. Sorry, I'm stupid. I mean, I understand. Yeah, it's practical, so you can literally just flip the box and if you ever want to move, off you go in your merry way. But by the looks of it, you don't even want to spend money on a mattress, so I don't think you're going to move anytime soon, darling. See if there is a cheaper place that I can live in than here. This is a great deal, but there's all- She's got a map. Bitch has got a map of the neighborhood. Have you heard of TripAdvisor? Google? Meat is expensive and so is dairy. That's why I eat raw vegetables. I don't have to cook it. No energy is going into uh -oh. it. Uh oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You took a bite off an apple or whatever it is. I think it's an apple. It. And then you dare to close the fridge again. Meat is expensive, and so is dairy. That's why I eat raw vegetables. I don't have- How do you live off a lemon? Darling, what's for dinner tonight? A lemon. First priority is a new bed, which has Monique on the hunt for an economical solution that can she's driving. them both. We are going to a rummage sale at one of the schools that I substitute teach at. Oh. I thought maybe we can find a little something for ourselves. I brought my change. <laughs> nice. <gasps> that was the fakest nice ever. Change. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I need post 
postage stamps, but these are three cents. Nobody uses three cent stamps. <laughs> what we're doing is uh, we're charging a penny for the three cent stamps and just. Um, too expensive. Quick question for. Quick question for you. The mattresses. So how much? Oh, what the They're fuck is this? Each. What is this? What is this? Fam, it looks like something died here. They're pretty messed up, Monique. Twenty dollars for one mattress is just out of the question. <laughs> Twenty dollars for a mattress is out of the question. I would like to get. <laughs> Look at these two. The they are so shocked. I would like to get. You know what? Out there is expensive. Okay, out there is very expensive. Doesn't matter if you're in America, Australia, London. It's expensive out there. So I do understand and I do appreciate people that try to save. I don't think it's shameful at all if you have coupons, if you have discounts, if you have some sort of card. It's not shameful at all. It's smart and it's responsible because you're spending money. It doesn't matter. You could be filthy rich. I would still appreciate someone for, you know, wanting to save money. But bitch, something died in that mattress. Tell me flat out, how much is that originally? And you're saying it's 50% off. Right, it's 40% off. So that would be about 450. Well, I'm gonna need a bunch of them. So 450 is gonna be a little high for what I have in my uh -huh. pocketbook. Well, these are ones that are fairly old and I've had them for a while, so I could, I could maybe sell them to you for three dollars a piece i think why right isn't it going to be a lot more expensive for her to put all these patches together or whatever it is that they are because they seem quite small rather than buying a like one from i don't know oh, what's that what's that thing in america what's that shop that everyone goes to uh none of that would do for her she had to have the bargain of the century i would give you six of these six is not bad for you know for 1063 that's the... yeah i think she was being respectful but she was not at all at least the i know that this cheapness, it runs deep in her, and it'll be a hard thing for her to overcome. But I get the feeling that it really does matter to her that she takes on some of this challenge and compromises. They're going to a motel. I called earlier and your wife said that you had some spare sheets. I'm excited. They didn't even mention a price. He's just gonna give them to us. What is that? I hope it's not a bed bug. You Never in my life I expected that someone would go to a motel of God knows where and take their bed sheets and be excited because she, apparently she doesn't have to pay for them and then surprise surprise merry christmas bitch there's a bed bug you you, you're, you don't have bed bugs here do you joseph wanted. let's take the sheets well thank you so much and All thank right. your wife she's so kind now that she's tracked down cast off motel sheets mo she's so happy yeah, okay, you know what? I was rooting for her at the beginning, but you, man, sir, kind man, you have to leave. The best thing, less than $30, everything. <laughs> um, are you guys gonna have sex or are condoms too expensive for you? 
I guess pulling out is free, right? But pregnancies aren't, so good luck with that. Right, I think I've had enough of um, bed bugs and duct tape and um, exorcism needed on a mattress. I don't want to judge, of course, because I don't, you know, I don't know where she came from. I don't know what's her story. So she might have a reason for it, for being so cheapskate. Um, but, uh, you know what? I'll leave that to you. You write your comments, you write whatever you want. There you go, that's free for you. If you like the video, good, great, smashing. And I will see you next week or in the next video or, you know what? God take the wheel. Bye. <laughs>